us. Welcome to my farm today as we discuss a few tips to make your farm a success. Today we are going to talk about staking and why do we stake. Staking is making sure that your crop is upright the way you have done here so that you can have two main uh, to help you in operation activities that happens in this crop. When you stake your crop and it's upright, you're able to spray well, you're able to to make sure that the chemicals that you're using are well uh, anchored in, in the crop. Another reason why we stake is to make sure that your crop has clean produce after the ripening has, has started. As you can see, my crop are, are ripening and they, they are all clean and you get a grade one. Something else I, I want us to learn from this video today is about a disease and a pest that has been disturbing us. As you can see, some of the leaves in this crop have started turning yellow with some spots. That's bacterial spect that we have able to manage it. It's curing. The, the crop is curing. We have used bingo to control this disease. And also, there is this pest that has been persistent in this in this uh, plot. We have been having an issue with tutor absoluta. Uh, it has been feeding on the leaves, but one thing with tutor, you have to know the, how to control it because it keeps on mutating now and then. Uh, we control it using uh, a tea hand. For example, we use Dudu, Dudu from Uganda to control this pest. And the last thing that I want you to learn from this crop is that marketing strategy. One thing as a farmer, you should be able to have or to optimize on the, your produce so that when you're in the market, you have the fresh product that everyone will like. In tomatoes, make sure that you target grade 1, grade 2 for better prices. So dear farmers, I wish you all the best and I wish you that we can learn together and your farm will be a success. Thank